I went to Sephora the other day and I bought this. I've been wanting it for a, a while because I, I don't even know where I saw it. I think I saw it on TikTok. It's the Inky List Retinol Eye Cream and I think I like it. <laughs> Today starts preparations for this coming spring semester. We all have to get PCR tests done before we go to campus. So today I'm going to do that. I didn't buy this cup. I would never buy a cup that says I'm fun. It was a gift. This is the Ordinary Rosehip Oil and I use it in the morning so I can gua sha. You're supposed to start with your neck to activate your lymphatic drainage system. I always skip that. I ate Doritos yesterday. So my face, I can just, I can just tell, like my face is puffy. I'm thinking of what I want to do today. Kind of want to go to MoMA, because I told myself when I came back, I was like, I'm gonna go to museums before school starts. I haven't gone to any museums. This is the concealer. Focus. This, <laughs> this is the concealer that I bought. And I like it because it's like creamy too. So it blends out really easy. I just have killer dark circles. So now I can just blend it. Like, damn, okay. It blends so fast. I love when I don't have school or work or anything and I get to wait to do my makeup. Usually I have such lovely sunlight coming in my window. But I think we're getting a snowstorm tomorrow and the sunlight is pretty much non-existent. Here's a close-up of my skin. Damn. It literally looks worse on camera. It's a HD shit. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to eat too. I watched um, a YouTube video and in it she was contouring her nose. I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna draw lines and then blend it. Cute, super cute. I guess we can put some on my cheeks too. To cover up that Doritos blow. This is just Laura Mercier setting powder. My camera died, but just to fill in the products that I used that weren't captured, I used the Liquid Lumiere and Luster on my cheeks, Anastasia Brow Wiz, and Brow Gel. My favorite mascara is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. That was it. Besides my lipstick, the Chantecaille Lip Chic in Ceylon. C-E-Y-L-O-N. It's so pretty. Focus on it, not me. Oh my god. It's so pretty. Like the perfect dark color. This is another thing I wanted to show too because I got it at the when I went to Sephora. But I bought the Olaplex bonding oil and this stuff smells so good. Ah. This is what it looks like. I think I I think the nose contour. I don't think it's that bad. Now, to my favorite part of getting ready. Putting on my perfume. I organized them all yesterday. And they look so nice. I think I'm gonna mix this one. I got three compliments when I was wearing it the other day. And then I'm gonna do a spritz. Oh, of the Atelier Cologne. I'm gonna do a spritz of vanilla and see how that goes. Mmm. Honestly, I like it because the reptile is literally like all the fragrance notes that I like combined into one. Like that's literally the best thing I've ever smelled. And then the vanilla kind of makes it sweet. 
so I'm giving a very like earthy sweet kind of edible vibe today okay I also I booked my ticket for the mama at three since I had COVID at the end of December turns out I don't need a test I just have to upload my positive results now I still have to wait an hour to go to MoMA. Uptown train is now arriving. The next stop is... I haven't been here so long that I forgot where to go. But I figured it out. I think this is my first time to a museum by myself. Mama's interesting too because there's like so many hidden pathways that you can go down. A lot of dark rooms. Going back home now. I kind of wanted to pick up food but the place that I was going to go to closed. So I don't know where to go. And it's cold. And I'm tired. We're home now and I had to buy more paper towels on my way back because I used the last one to blow my nose but in an ideal world I would have bought Bounty but I'm not going to spend 15 bucks on disposable paper that I just wipe my toilet with and counters like so for this semester I decided I'm going to try a binder so that it will be more durable, I guess. I got the smaller size though, because it will fit in my bag. And then it has paper that I can put in. And then they only had page dividers for the larger size. So I'm just gonna cut the bottoms off. Ta-da! And then it was also fun today. I'm going to a museum alone for the first time. It was nice to just like walk up to the things that I thought was interesting and then walk away and there were a lot of people taking Instagram photos which didn't really sh uh, didn't really shock me you kind of go to museums expecting you're gonna see someone I didn't expect that many people to be taking photos like I don't judge though like I get it it's fun taking photos with your friends. But what I do judge is what you choose to stand in front of. And also, it's like, you have to wear your mask. My camera died again. But I wanted to say there was one piece that I saw in there. And I'll put a clip so that I remember. It was a sculpture and it was like, it almost looked like pantyhose or tights or something and it had a bunch of sand or something weighing it down and I looked at it and I was like, I relate to that, I can feel that, like it literally looked like a saggy ass, I shouldn't have said that, but then I read the plaque on the wall and it said it was the artist, it was her depiction of how she felt when she was pregnant and seeing how her body was changing and like weighing down and like new areas getting like changed like new areas changing I thought it was cool because that's like what I thought when I looked at it 
last thought and then I'm ending this video but my conclusion on going alone or my conclusion on MoMA since I haven't been for a while is that I used to or I thought that the Whitney might have been my favorite because the Whitney is fun because you get to go outside on the pier and stuff and stand out there or on the terrace but low-key I think I had more fun at MoMA today they had so many hidden rooms and I don't know, I like um, I'm more into like the videos and stuff that play than the actual painting sometimes so yeah, MoMA had a lot of interesting videos that's my conclusion I don't want to go back to school mm. And I only ordered Chick-fil-A because we wanted Coke with the good ice. Mm, yeah, I'm done. I'm done talking.